watching Good Morning Columbia, live from Maine and Gervais. Ah, uh, yes, the often solemn moment as we quietly and often pensively stare nearly into the soul of an artist in an attempt to understand his motivation, heart, all through his creation, canvas, clay, and sometimes even trash. But in all of that deep thought comes the rules of the art world. Yeah, there's rules, too. And to help us understand that, Pamela Iring from the Protocol School of Washington. Good morning. Tyler, good morning. Of course, we all remember that scene from, uh, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Where Cameron is staring into the uh, into the art and doesn't understand it. <laughs> well, at least he was quiet. Yeah, he was quiet. He was quiet. But sometimes people aren't quite so quiet. There are rules oh of etiquette, gosh. even if you're heading down to the Columbia Metropolitan Museum. Yeah, whether you're at the township or wherever, mm -hmm. you just gotta let it go. Unplug yourself. Let that mobile. Let it go. go. Okay, Elsa, let's go. Gotta let it go. And because it's not just uh, people texting; it's the light from the phones. Right. You know, right. and, and you see several patrons with all that on. Sure. It distracts from the theater or the play. Sure. Now, concerts are a little different. We're kind of encouraged. Well, yeah, because, you know, you got this. Different. Different. Oh, yeah, yeah the little flame. The they mm -hmm. even have the flame. You know, they have a flame app now. <laughs> see so you don't even yeah. have to worry about risking a yeah, burn. Yeah, that's different, though. But, but when you're in that more formal environment, mm -hmm. you know, people are paying good money for their seats. Right. Now, be right. nice and turn that crap off. That's just right. Turn it off. Just, just, just say yeah. no. Just say no to the glow. Just say no to the glow. I like it. No. <laughs> Oh, that brilliant. just, we need that to just blew that. my mind. <laughs> I love it. Well, and also be quiet. Right. I mean, because sometimes we get in there, we've had a couple glasses of wine, we're all feeling good, and the show starts, and we're like blah, 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 still talking or go, you know, sharing, right. maybe sharing too much. Maybe you've seen it before, and you're taking a friend. Sure. Don't tell them what the ending is going to be like. You also don't want to necessarily talk to you like, don't go in there. <laughs> exactly. You know. You yeah, keep the tone <laughs> low. I mean, you can whisper, but then let, you know, stop, stop, just stop right. talking when the show's going. Save it for intermission. Sure. And, and those rules apply whether you're at, like, an art gallery or you're at a show, some sort of yes. event, a play, a concert. Yeah. You know, a Morhiko Nakahara walked down and just whap you over the head with his little, his little long pencil. Yeah, you don't want one you of the should, anyway. Or Pecan. you don't want one of the actors coming up to you and stealing your phone because you're texting <laughs> in the middle of their big show. Pardon me, my name is Hamilton. Give me that phone. <laughs> just like that, all right? <laughs> right, exactly. So it really just comes down to common courtesy, then. You know, it's basic, but sometimes right. we become very individualistic. Sure. You know, it's all about us, and, and we go all in. I paid for this show, and I'm going to watch it the way I want to. But we're sure. not at, TV, at home watching television. Right. We are with other people, and and only it also makes you look good. When you're polite and behaved properly when you're going to the theater. It's all about proper decorum, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with it. I like it myself. What about spoilers? Like, what if you happen? Because yeah. I'll be honest, I'm the guy, if I watch a movie, watch a show, I'm on Wiki, I want to know who did it, how they did it, and what happens before the end. I just like to be spoiled. Oh. So I'll go in a movie knowing exactly what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but I probably don't need to share that with everyone around me, right? Right. If you think that's going to happen and you haven't seen the show yet, go, hey, hey, don't tell me the ending. I don't want to know. <laughs> right. I'm going to go next week, so just please keep it down. I want to be surprised. Yeah, exactly. So, Or you can say, do you want to know the ending? <laughs> and people go, no. Or you might go, sure. yeah. I was, and this is a true story. I'll read the last couple of pages of a book. I really you will. You really go there? I, I do. My gosh, do. man. Well, that's the, the speedient way to do that. You get it done. Yeah, you just get, get it to done. the ending and, and call it read a day. Read the first part forward and then go to the back. Okay. Well, I worry about the minutia. <laughs> yeah, my ring. Really, it's common courtesy. Turn the phones yeah. off. Don't spoil. Keep your voice down. Yes, please. Just Basics. like that. Basics. Just really easy. You yeah. think it can be so common. Pamela Iring, the Protocol School of Washington. Put links for you at abccolumbia.com. Other ideas she has for, for common courtesy, art galleries, movies, concerts, and pretty much life in general. Thank you very You're much, welcome, my friend. Tyler. Great stuff every single week as we Thank celebrate you. good behavior. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We're coming back because Mother Nature is not going to give us any good behavior today. We'll break that down for you in a few minutes.